Hi, this is Mark Marker. Welcome to C-SPAN. We're here at a congressional session. Today's congressional session started off with the swearing in of several people. Governor Lexi Point was sworn in. Marshall Holliday, who is the Speaker of the House, was also sworn in. Then the Congressman Miles Jackson and Carmelo Smooth were sworn in. And lastly, the swearing in of Superior Justice Judge Ryan Palmer. There were three additional congressmen who were not present, Carl John, Divinity Dons, and Tom McLean. After that, the uh, governor asked if there were any bills to be presented. Um, there were no bills raised by any of the congressmen that were there. Since there were no bills to be raised, they brought the discussion onto the budget. That's where the majority of the discussion was today, was budget talks. The MRPD brought up that they need an additional 2.5 to 2.7 million to cover some of the construction costs due to a fire that occurred there. That was from a bid from Cuts Construction. And they were also needing an additional budget at MRPD of 2.5 million that they were requesting to cover expenses. Then they went on to discuss additional budgets with the San Andreas State Troopers, the Blaine County Sheriff's Office, and the Los Santos Police Department. Um, Budget talks included a little discussion on SAFER, San Andreas Fire and Rescue, and DOC. And lastly, they discussed the budget for San Andreas National Guard, and it was stated that that was now a federal budget. So let's, uh, the cameras didn't quite function during the first half of the Congress session, but we uh, were able to capture the last half after the budget talks started. So let's watch some of those budget talks. Thanks. All right, Mr. Holliday, what do you estimate that the police spend weekly? It depends, really truthfully, on the amount of officers that we get in per the number of officers that are on patrolling at any given time. Um, I understand that, but what's the rough estimate for weekly? For example, for EMS, I know we spend about 600 k weekly in our payroll. Payroll, thank you. So what would you estimate weekly that your payroll is? Roughly, I would say we're about the same. Somewhere on the 500,000 to 700,000 range. And you said you started about a week and a half ago, two weeks-ish now, with... One million? Uh, yes. And it's never been increased from one million until now? No. We, um, the amount of officers that we've had, honestly, in the city has been a bit scarce lately. So we, we have been managing quite well with our funds. It's just... Okay, and what would you say is left in there as of right now, after about two weeks? As of right now, last time I checked, we were down to about a hundred thousand dollars. Uh, excuse me, I'm I'm being um being told um that we uh we started with five million, not one. My apologies. Okay. Yeah. I, now, I was gonna say I do believe you started with a lot more than one million. Yeah. We're just um yeah we're we're down as far as our budget, but the uh, the five million that we started with. Yeah. A little over one million. After yeah. The the five that we've started with has lasted us quite a while. Granted, this was two weeks of high expenses with a lot of vehicles and whatnot. So now that a lot of the officers have settled, that shouldn't go down near as fast. So if we increase it to what you propose, that'll put you at 7.5 million monthly. I think 2.5 of that was just for the construction effort, though, right? So that was like a single month request or not a yes. reoccurring? Yes, that, that's, that's a single one-time request. So, yeah, so their so budget I'm, is 2.5. I'm, I'm only but... adding 2.5 onto the 5 mil that they already started with monthly. I see what you're saying. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah. So we could estimate 7.5 million for uh, police that could always be readdressed next session if needed. If that's not enough, you could also apply for emergency funding if that is also not enough. Uh, that should 
cover the three departments, and that's not including your 2.5 to... Oh, look at this Sir, this row is three. occupied. That's just your personal no way, budget no for the police department. Okay, um, if he is allowed to speak, okay, um, barely. Assistant Get Commissioner it. Matt Smith behind you may well. be able to alliterate just a little bit more on their end. Yeah, if you have any insight to what you guys spend, okay, um, I know it's a little harder to keep track since it's all one fund, but if you have any insight, feel free to share. So both departments started with similar funding. We both have a very similar spending rate. Uh, the I know my end on the state troopers, we have taken steps to reduce how much we spend. Uh, we are limiting what we spend on each trooper's uh, equipment, uh, limiting how much they get to spend on their own on their equipment uh, per uh, what you call it per month, and as well as limiting to what vehicles uh, we stop paying for modifications. So. We did have a high. We did have an abnormally high amount of spending this month since we uh, had to reacquire all of our police equipment. However, next month I'm expecting it to be a lot less, as well as we are taking some saving measures. So uh, do, while I do believe we need an increase in funding, uh, I think we'll honestly personally be fine with the extra 2.5 million uh, on top of the five. So the yeah, so that would be 7.5 total for all three departments to share. Um, I'm estimating probably three mil for each LSP, SAST, one million for the sheriff's office, and then an extra 500k as the cushion, I'm assuming would be more of the divide. Somewhere along those lines. That could be for yep, emergency yep. stuff. Mm -hmm. yeah. Or 3.5 to both LSPD and SAST, and then 0.5 for uh, sheriff's. Sure. Well, uh, we, want to split it? we don't want to cut the sheriff's department out of the funding. If they need something, that will be available to them if they need it. Definitely. And Just I'm more of a balance. balance. The two bigger departments yes. have more expenditures, obviously. They're a lot larger than the sheriff's office. And I'm just going to be a little honest here. Like, I personally believe that the division within the funding is honestly just more of a formality. If the, if LSPD needs something and they've used their funds, we just let them use it, just like the same they do for us. So, I mean, I don't see it being an issue. Yeah, it, it won't be an issue at all. All right. Uh, as far as it goes, that is the only thing that I have to say as far as the budget. Uh, LSPD will take him, be taking some measures to reduce the funding that we spend as well. I know it's been a hectic month for all of us, but I do hope that um, we'll start seeing some improvements here soon. Thank you. Okay. So if somebody could write that down for us, we'll estimate 7.5 for the first month for all of the police departments accumulated uh, together. Yep. Um, if that doesn't end up being enough for them for the next month, they can obviously apply for emergency funding and we can revisit that at a later date. Um, for DOC, we're gonna need Mr. Pock here to outline their expenses and their spending. Uh, and their payroll, pardon me. So, um, I'm gonna have to reach out to him and see um, how many people he has on staff. I honestly can't even begin to estimate here. I don't know what they were given. I don't know what they currently have. I don't know how many employees they have. So we'll have to get some numbers from Mr. Pock. So we'll have to wait for him to attend a session. Um, San Andres Fire, Fire Rescue, pardon me, I believe they started with um, a $5 million grant to get them up and running. I'm not sure, again, what their expenses could be, so we'll have to reach out to the Chief of Fire. Um, okay, so how we normally do this in the past is we have, we usually allocate a congressman or two to each department to reach out to them and have them come and meet oh, with right. us. Okay. Um, do you guys want to divide fire rescue as well as DOC? Yeah, that, yeah, that's totally cool with me. I'll take okay. fire. Okay, and yeah, then I'll just reach out to them DOC. and have them come and meet with us for the next uh, session. Okay. Um, just that way, obviously, all of the congressman and myself get to be a part of the discussion in the budget and whatnot. Um, if they require emergency funding, we can always meet earlier than that and grant them if they are running low on funds now. Um, but for the most part, they should be good until the following week. 
Okay, that works for me. I'll, I'll, I'll reach out to Fire and get that as soon as possible. Uh, the goal is to get their estimations uh, for their monthly budget correct and, and any changes up or down. Correct. We'll want them to attend. Um, so the goal is to get them to attend the next Congress session and basically give us an estimate of what they require for a budget. And then gotcha. let us know what they spend, basically what they intend to spend in a month. And then that way we can gauge if we think the budget that they're proposing is accurate and if it fits our budget. So any changes can be made if needed. All right. No, no, that's easy peasy. I'll, I'll take care of that. Perfect. Do we have anything else on the agenda for today? Um, I honestly think that's probably about it for, um, for now. Um, I just had a, had a question. Uh, as a judge, we're not really, we're supposed to be pretty impartial no matter what party it is. So we aren't really supposed to speak at these sessions, right? Yeah. We don't correct. really input. Yeah, the, your, your other the, your half of the house is the uh, other half of this building. All right. As a judge, it's mostly just, uh, I mean, you could always work with a congressman and get a bill proposed, I believe. You could do that. Even. Yeah, he's still a citizen, um, yes. Yeah, yeah. if right. you had any ideas and whatnot, you could bring that to Congress. Um, otherwise, it's just uh, more so just watching and bringing up any concerns. The Congress meetings are also open, so once we finish our our business, any citizens that have any comments, questions, concerns can always feel free to step up to the podium and voice those with us. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Thank you. Cool. All right. All right. So Peter, if you want to conclude the session. Uh, um, as far as it goes for our business, I do believe that that will conclude it. If anybody else does that have anything. No, sir. I don't uh, today, but I think this was a good meeting, and I'm excited to see uh, where this uh, uh, era goes. Agreed. Um, as far as it goes, before we uh, officially conclude here, uh, I will open the floor for a minute or two for concerns from the citizens before we close it here. Oh, hello, yeah. I'd like to approach and ask a question. Uh, go ahead. Right. What's, what's your name, fellow? Hello. Yes, my name is uh, Mark Marker. Hello. Hi, what's, what's your question, question Mark? Um, <clears throat> yeah, I was asking, I'm asking about the housing um, market and basically the, uh, what's on the plans for the housing here? Um, it's kind of a struggle to buy a house right now. Uh, I can speak on that. Uh, so currently there's a new real estate company coming into town. They will be handling um, the housing market. They will have a lot of options available um, for higher end as well as more affordable housing options. Um, so basically once they get their office set up and they get their business licensing and everything that they require here in the city, they will be available to start uh, helping you purchase your home. Okay. Great, thank you. For sure. We we don't exactly have a time estimate just yet. Um, I do believe they are pretty close to being prepared, though. Okay. okay. I'm excited, personally, for that. Me as well, actually. I'm in the market for a home. I've been staying at the Richmond, uh, so I'm in, I've been, been, been waiting. <laughs> ah, I got a cot in the back of the hospital. Oh, I've been living <laughs> on the couch at MRPD, but now I'm not doing that anymore, so. I don't you have can live on the couch at State. Actually, um, Holiday, if you go up the stairs instead of down the stairs, there's a bunch of bunk beds in there for you. You can use those. Oh, there you go. All right. All right. Cool. Uh, should we claim offices else? before we close? Or after we close, should we claim offices? After we close. Before we go. All right. Uh, would anyone else uh, have any concerns or anything like that for we officially close session? Going once. Do you have a question? No. Okay. All right. Well, officially at 8.35 p.m., uh, I'm going to go ahead and call the Congress session. So, uh, let's everybody, let's have a good afternoon. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, Congressman. Mr. Congress, thank you. Speakers, thank you, Kevin. Post the notes.